Today, this is possibly the most exciting car release of this last year or two, to be honest with you, other than the Corvette. That was kind of cool. This is the Toyota GR Yaris. Now, GR is Toyota's performance brand and it's something they've been building up over time of course we got the gr supra which was not exactly a toyota whereas this is and everybody that i've seen driving this in real life absolutely love it i have not seen one person that doesn't love this thing thus far it is a beautiful masterpiece it's stunning it's got oh look at it black black on black in the background looks very nice indeed we got the red and we've got the white i feel like going for red right here just make it f it's faster so it's a very cheap vehicle in this game compared to a lot of vehicles in grand when they get released this however is probably one of the most exciting i'm very very interested to see how this is gonna drive and of course we're playing on the playstation 5 today i have to say that because i want you to know why it looks so good why does it look so good to yo there you go now this car, we're going to drive it as a standard. Of course, we're only playing with a controller thus far, so don't expect miracles. My wheels to fade up, and I'm going to use this as a video. If you guys want to see more Gran Turismo, I'll set up my wheel. Of course, I've, I haven't even seen the interior that much, to be honest with you. It looks pretty good, and of course, it's on the PlayStation 5. It's got a load. Look how quick <laughs> did this load, of course. This is just a time trial. It's got one car to load. It loaded pretty instantly. Now, I'm super excited and looking forward to playing Gran Turismo. When it eventually comes out, directly for the ps5 it's it, there's, there's a version coming out hopefully in the first half of next year which i'll be very very happy for because of course it doesn't have the trigger support stuff but we're going to drive the gr yaris this car excites me it gives me excite ex exciting feeling in my i've got to learn all the uh, the doodads and the controls and everything again that i set myself and clearly i've set them like a baboon because i've got x to gear up I don't know who decided that, but look at this thing go. Do I need to turn off that traction control? I've only got a little bit on there, but let's get it going. Come on. Give me the beans. Not bad for a controller. I thought I was I was expecting to go right into a wall right at the beginning. And no, I'm doing pretty good. So straight away, this thing feels so much faster than you should, than it should. <laughs> I've messed it. Bit of cockpit view. Want to see what this is like? As I said feels very good in here it, it doesn't feel i was gonna say it doesn't feel super cheap toyota but i should hope not because it's a 35 grand car once fully specced out it's a little bit ridiculous but it's something super special and i i, I just you just don't see anything like this recently ever especially like this like it's such a niche little market for something that's so so stupid like this it's just ridiculous you already know that toyota played it super super safe when it came to the supra going with bmw as a pot no just mouth the wall going with the bmw as a partner because they it was it made it cheaper it made it so that it was financially sensible to try and create the Supra. They already had a, a six-pot engine. They were like, ah, we're going to use a six-pot engine. This, however, nah, Toyota. Toyota bred, Toyota made. Toyota made it look spicy indeed. I'm really, really into this. It, it just drives, it feels like, even on Gran Turismo, it feels like it's driving faster than it actually is. Most of the time on this track, I've been spent sat at 60 to 80 miles an hour, which on Gran Turismo never really feels that fast. But in this little thing, it's so peppy. It's just back up to speed. Drop down a little bit. Don't worry, I got you, Rick. I'm going to go back up to speed. Just like that. Smooth and amazing. I am really, really tempted now to jump and set my wheel up for this. If you guys want me to, maybe I will. I've been tempted to do a lot of like Gran Turismo content. And of course, more so probably when the new game comes out. Because I do want to build myself a brand new rig for that game. I want to go properly full out. Go a little bit ridiculous. Go a little bit stupid with that rig. And see see, see how much you could probably spend on a home rig. There's not, you know, there's not motion rig or anything. I'm talking about, like, practical. <laughs> I ain't spending that much money. But I really, really, really want to see... Oh, my second lap's going, like... Other than my gear changes, my second lap's going much, much better. But I want to know what this feels like to drive properly. And I think the wheel is the best way to do it. 
Gran Turismo is going to be a good way to learn how I could live with a car like this. Or live with a, any car, to be honest with you. Experience a car before I even book a test drive. Help me figure out what's replacing the suit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I think... I actually you know I want to get one more lap in. This this car's so much fun off road. You know I'm just gonna sit behind myself. I cr I hit a wall, <laughs> but looking at myself slide there. Oh baby, I, you can see why this car is so much fun. Now, I want to see how this translates to the road because of course this is off road. It's not. It, it's perfect conditions for the GR Yaris. It's, this is what it's made for. But what if you take it off the dirt? That was okay. <laughs> and we go and take it onto the road. I want to know, is this thing as much fun on the road as it is off? It doesn't feel stock. It feels like it's been tampered with. We're now going onto a track that I have no idea about. It's one of those that I don't think I've ever been on. Ever. We'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Time will tell once we actually get out onto this course. Actually, I tell a lie. I have been on it probably once or twice. So I'm going to start with a little bit of traction on just so I can get a feel for how this is going to slide. Now, this has got an all-wheel drive system, which makes it even more awesome. We've got all-wheel drive on a little tiny car like this, which pulls like a damn train. I must say this probably feels faster than most supercars. Something about little cars like this, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's just they feel like they're a million times faster than they actually should be. So, a little bit under steery compared to as it was, but we do have traction control on. I'm gonna take it off, and then we shall begin in the village. That's where we are. we're in the village. How how slidey can we get this? Oh my! It's a bit wobbly. Oh! <laughs> All right, she wants to slide. This gear seems quite long. The gears seem quite long, other than maybe the first two. I say that we're at 50 miles an hour in second gear. The gears feel quite long. <laughs> and of course, this is completely standard as of now. We haven't even touched the upgrades on this car yet. When we do eventually upgrade this car, I think this is going to feel like a literal spaceship. It's fine to go off-road. It's a rally car, baby. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get it to just loosen up just a little bit. But it's gripping like hellfire. <laughs> bit of off-road. Flick of the tail. Get back on. I don't care about showing my mistakes in this car. I, I, it makes me want to just drive like an aggressive baboon. Every single bit of road is dominable, dominatable <laughs> by the little GR Yaris. And brake. Oh! <laughs> that is amazing. She loves it. it it's... It's one of those which you can, like, control and adjust how much power goes to the rear and stuff pretty easily on the go, which is fantastic for it. it when do when you really do that on a, on a hatchback like this? Usually it's set. With a hatchback, you're spending base level money. You're not going to get that many features. You're going to be front-wheel drive. That's probably mostly why. <laughs> you're, you're mostly going to be front-wheel drive. There's literally going to be no settings for you because there's no other drivetrain option. We're going to have to put something in it. We're going to have to do some juicy modifications. I just want to see how quick we can get this. With the current amount of miles that I have, I don't have a super large amount of those, so... <laughs> okay, I'm done. Here we go. Let's get some power popping. So currently the max horsepower is about 268. Okay. Fair enough. Now, luckily, we're able to tweak and play around with things as they are. So let's straight away increase the power to 300. A little remap. <laughs> a little remap. And then we're going to reduce the weight. It reduces it just a little bit. But that's awesome. We've got 300 horsepower straight away. Almost matching, again, not really, but almost matching the Supra in a much smaller and lighter, but all-wheel drive car i think that's pretty sick indeed so mileage points required 200 we're gonna bump this thing up just to 333 horsepower that making it the official number of the supra and much lighter than the supra that's probably gonna be where i want to sit for now oh look at the meaty tires on it those are standard those are stock they just this car is just bunker i i adore it so much okay we're jumping in with a lot more power, a little bit less weight, and a track 
to let us open up the taps at some point. Traction control, we're going to start with it on once again, bring it down a gear. Instantly wants to snap. Instantly wants to snap. This is so much quicker already. So much quicker. It doesn't feel that much quicker. It, like the sense of speed in this game is not tremendous, but the, the looking at the actual speed that we're traveling. Oh my God. Right, we need to turn that traction off. It wants to, it wants to have a little bit of a play, doesn't it? <laughs> now this is what you want in a hatchback. Just something that's just stupid. Never in my life would I have ever, ever said, I want a Yaris. In, in what world? Who would have thought someone that owns a freaking Supra, brand new Supra, a Skyline, has owned a beautiful RCF, has decided to go, you know what? I really want, I really want a Yaris. I think it's a fantastic, cracking little car and probably one of Toyota's best in a long, long time. I also really want to see what happens if we max the power out on this thing. If you want to see that, you know what to do. Smash that like. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you in the next Gran Turismo video. Until next time, peace.